when I'm talking about wrapping your head around this mindset, when people are like, I want to be a real estate investor for me, what they're really saying is, or what they should wrap their head around is I want to be a business owner. Okay. So today's topic is managing expectations. And Scott, you deal with this a lot because you have a lot of hyped up would be investors that come to you and are like, Hey, I want uh, a million properties or a million doors within one year. And it's just not possible. So we have to, we're, we're, we're what we're going to do is we're going to break down the steps of managing or what, what entails managing your expectations when it comes to developing a real estate portfolio. This yeah. is key. Not, yeah, not huge. getting, you know, a property or, you know, one or two. This is like, you know, I think we're going to talk about starting to develop like a real estate investing career, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. This is a little bit different. I don't want to talk about, you know, just getting one, but it starts with one. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The overall picture of this whole, I guess, series, if you want to call it, is going to be talking about how do we actually get from point A to point B and point B is I, I, even even point Z. You know, that yeah. entails like accumulating a good amount of property and we have to set and manage expectations from the onset in order to get there. Yeah. 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 So that we understand what it takes. Yeah. So if you, yeah, if you don't have the right expectations to start, a lot of people are going to get frustrated and just, and just quit. They're never going to get to Z or they'll buy one or two and then quit or whatever the case is because it's not fast enough for them. So yeah, managing expectations and becoming a real estate investor. First, it starts with mindset. Mm -hmm. There are a lot of people that, invest in real estate or buy a property or two, whatever, but they're not investors. Mm -hmm. Do you get what I'm saying by that? An investor is a mindset. And let's talk about some things that let's talk about some mindsets that make you an investor. Okay. Yeah. So, so what I've noticed in, in my career as I, I don't even like the word investor. And, And the reason why I don't like the word investor is because investor makes things sound like it's a little bit more passive and and you and I both manage property and or ha- and I don't personally manage my property anymore. But even though I don't manage my own property anymore, it's still not passive. And I have like a mm-hmm. team of people to do it. Yeah, it's still not well, passive. That, that, that might be true. For, so I don't think of it that way. That might be true for some people. Maybe it's a a, a word that gives that connotation to people and makes people think it's too sl- mm. whatever passive or something yeah. like that. So I know what you mean by that. So I I feel yeah. like I feel like for me. Like real estate business, real estate operator, whatever. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like that's that's what I, I, I've always aspired to run my real estate like a business. Mm -hmm. So that's what I feel is like, that's, that's where I feel like my advantages have come from. And I feel like that's an important mindset is Uh, I like it when you manage your real estate like a business and not an investment. Okay. I feel like that is the proper mindset and, and running a business is tough. And you need the mindset and you need you need to wrap your head around the fact that this is not easy. It you need thick skin. You 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 need to understand that you might get woken up in the middle of the night because you have to, you know, put out a fire. You might have to not a literal fire, but you know, mm-hmm. um, you 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 have to understand that operating a business is very difficult. Mm-hmm. And you Especially have to, to start. Yeah, it's, and it's you, active. First it's, it's very active. It's very active. It's very tough. You're dealing with people. And when you deal with people, people are tough to deal with. Mm-hmm. It's just, mm-hmm. it, they, they bring a lot of problems. Yeah. And yeah. And thinking back, like, you know, when I started investing in, in stocks and stuff 10 years ago, I didn't like the word investor either. So I know what you mean because yeah. it, because I, that was too slow for me. Yeah. But as I've grown and evolved, now investors come to mean something else. So if you're new and, and you're listening to this and the word investor makes you think, um, it's passive and slow, then that's the wrong mindset. But if you have the right idea of investor, which is let, let me break down my thoughts of an investor. Mm. Number one, it's long term. Mm-hmm. It's, it's, it's forever. Like I'm an investor forever. I'm never going to not invest. I don't care if, if I was a billionaire, I'd probably still invest because mm-hmm. it's fun. Mm-hmm. And because whenever you have money as an investor, you look to put it to work. That's what mm-hmm. an investor is. I think they're just somebody that, that puts their money to work, mm-hmm. whether it's stocks, real estate, starting a business, um, whatever the case is. So, um, what are your thoughts on, on that kind of breakdown? Yeah. So, um, I agree with you. The problem though is, um, my, I real estate, like, so say for example, I have a bank account that holds my real estate, well, multiple bank accounts, but say I take one bank account 
or I take one, say I just take my real estate company, the overall umbrella. If you were to take the financials from my real estate company and compare them to one of my other companies, it's the same shit. Mm -hmm. But you wouldn't have the same like on paper look and feel if you had like a stock portfolio. Mm -hmm. It's Mm -hmm. not the fucking same. So you have expenses, you have payroll, you have, uh, you know, all, all these different, you know, you have income, you have expense, like it, it's great. Like it literally runs the exactly the same way. So on paper, the reason why I say this is a business and it's not an investment is because when you compare stocks and bond, whatever, like those type of assets to real estate, it doesn't look the same gotcha. on paper. It actually looks closer, way closer to an actual to business. operational business. Mm-hmm. And I feel like when you have those styles of financials, in place, you have to run it like a business. Mm. It is no longer an investment. Cool. cool. That's, th- that's why I feel like people don't understand, uh, when they talk about investment, they talk about it being passive. That is literally the reason why is because I run other businesses that are, you know, for profit businesses. And I also have real estate investments and real estate investments look much different than investments than they do real estate or uh, sorry, actual companies. Mm -hmm. This runs like an actual company. And when you have a well-oiled machine as a company that's making money, the financials are strong. It's a strong company. It's not a strong investment. Mm -hmm. You get what I mean? Yeah. Does that make sense? Well, that's why I kind of look at it a little bit different. So when I'm talking about wrapping your head around this mindset, when people are like, I want to be a real estate investor for me, what they're really saying is, or what they should wrap their head around is, I want to be a business owner. Mm-hmm. That, that's that's my personal experience with it. Mm-hmm. But now other people may not see it that way because they may not own an, a, a, another type of business. You get what I mean? Yeah, they might so not it might be Yeah, it might be actually difficult to see it that way. Mm-hmm. But I will tell you this. If you have the mindset going into real estate and you're going to operate it like a true business, that is by far the most successful mindset to have bar none, Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. not an investment. Because when you do things for investment purposes, you could get caught. When you do things for business purposes, it's much, much easier to do and, and, and make the right moves.